What are protocols on a computer network? Everyone talks about protocols, but what exactly are they? In the mesmerizing and labyrinthine tapestry of the digital cosmos, computer networking protocols emerge as the maestros orchestrating a symphony of unparalleled complexity to guarantee nothing short of celestial harmony in the seamless communication between devices. What? Look, let's make this really simple. Protocols are what keep everything on a computer network, well, working. Protocols act as the unsung heroes behind the scenes, enabling the exchange of data and information that powers our interconnected world. And they do that by governing how data and information and communication is done from device to device, from application to application, from system to system, simple enough. In this video, I'm going to quickly unravel the mysteries behind uh, computer networking protocols so that you kind of understand why we have to have protocols, you know, with anything to make it work. I'm going to explore what they are, how they work, and their significance in the realm of modern technology. Banking on what I said just a few seconds ago, at its core, a protocol is a set of rules and conventions that govern the exchange of information between devices in or on a network. These rules define the format, timing, sequencing, and error control during data transmission. So you can think of protocols as the language spoken by devices to communicate effectively with each other. There are several types of protocols used in networking, but to give you an everyday, ordinary comparison or an example that we can use, I'm going to refer to what I like to call the Hello Protocol and the Telephone Protocol. The Hello Protocol is when you meet someone in public and say, Hello, and they respond back with an acknowledgement of something polite like, Hi, how are you? and a conversation takes place, and information can be exchanged. Unless the other person is rude and angry, ah! and we're just not going to get into that, that's a whole new realm of psychology and sociology we don't want to have to deal with. The telephone protocol is when you call someone on the telephone, like, say, customer service somewhere, and they respond back with something like, Hi, how can I help you today? You sorry, sir. Again, let's keep the rudeness to a minimum, shall we? Essentially, a protocol is an established and agreed upon way for two or more persons or devices or systems to connect with each other, communicate with each other, and understand each other. So now, with all of that being said, let's take a quick look at just a few of the protocols we commonly see on a computer network. The first of those is going to be TCP, better known as Transmission Control Protocol. Now, this is often referred to as a reliable or the reliable protocol. TCP ensures the reliable delivery of data by establishing a connection, breaking down information into segments, and then confirming that the segments were received and received correctly without having any errors or they were received in time or that they were put in the right order when they were received on the other end or by the other device. Then you have IP. This stands for Internet Protocol. IP is responsible for addressing and routing data packets across the network. It assigns unique numerical addresses, IP addresses, to devices, kind of like names of students in a classroom, allowing them to be identified and located on the network. This is how the devices know how to communicate with each other. They, they refer to each other with their IP addresses when you're using internet protocol, and that's on most Ethernet networks. Then you have HTTP. And this goes right along with HTTPS. This stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol. HTTP is the foundation of data communication on the World Wide Web or on the Internet. It defines how messages are formatted and transmitted, while HTTPS adds a layer of security through encryption using things like SSL, Secure Socket Layer, certificates and keys shared between devices so that they are communicating encrypted and allows it to protect sensitive information like bank account numbers, logins, passwords, that type of thing. Then you have FTP, which is better known as File Transfer Protocol. FTP facilitates the transfer of files between computers on a network. It provides a simple way to upload and download files, making it an essential protocol for file management. Another one you see regularly is SMTP. That's responsible, that's a Simple Mail Transfer Protocol is what that stands for. You also see POP. POP, that stands for Post Office Protocol. SMTP is responsible for sending emails, while POP allows the retrieval of emails remotely from a mail server. Together, these protocols form the backbone of email communication on computer networks. And those are just a few examples that we have of the many protocols that you'll see in computer networking, and that's why it's very important to understand protocols and how they're used and what they're used 
for. So in the vast landscape of computer networking, protocols serve as the guiding principles, the built-in rules, if you will, that allow the seamless transmission and flow of information. Understanding these protocols is the key to navigating the digital and the technical realm. As technology continues to advance and evolve, the role of networking protocols remains paramount, shaping the way we connect, communicate. What, 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 what?